So today I want to give you a full tour of the capital city of Georgia, Tbilisi guys, I have to tell you. The city has so many different sides. From the old town, castles on top of a mountain, you go out, nature, some type of monuments that are really, really one of a kind. This video is kind of special. On the one side, I'm gonna take you along to all of these different locations, kind of like best things to do, some cafes, some restaurants, the old town, but also a very special person is gonna join me in this video. Somebody that has been in my life for quite a long time, perhaps, I mean, I guess, yeah, from the beginning even to say so. And so, so with that, join me on Tbilisi, Georgia. So guys, we are entering the old town right now. We're gonna go for a nice little walk. So basically, here, when you get into the city, you right away notice this is the core of it. There's a good amount of people over there. And the special guest of today's video is my mama over here. So probably first time on the channel. Uh, the funny story is she has been uh, in Georgia. In the Fkakom Gadu Tibu was this? In 1990, my mom has been here pretty much on like her honeymoon, something like that. So taking her back a good 30 years later, just came in last night. So we're gonna go for a proper walk right now. So you see the, ra uh, how is it called? Basically these like little capsules are flying across the city up to the fortress. We're definitely gonna do that. But first things first, that is the only thing that my mom could recognize is the monastery on the rock standing there. Let's head over there. Let's see what it's all about. So the old town is gonna be the first stop for today, but I think it's gonna be a long video. We, my goal is to really cover it all, take my mom to all the places, try some local food. Okay guys, but before we hop into Tbilisi, let me tell you one thing. On the channel I talk about building a life of freedom around the world. And let's say, while traveling, being in different countries, one question that can come in is, hey, what if I need to visit a doctor? What if something happens? How can I be properly insured? This is where today's video sponsor, Safety Wing, comes in. So they recently launched a new product, which is called Nomad Health. And with that, you can basically visit doctors all over the world. You're insured in over 175 different countries, so worldwide, even in your home country. Like even myself, when I was in Tbilisi a couple of weeks back when I filmed this video, visited the dental office, this is the situations where something like that comes in. You can go both to public and private doctors. So when it comes to routine and preventative treatments, you are covered up to 1.5 million dollars annually and next to just the regular things they even cover things like mental health coverage wellness benefits and so much more and of course if something happens they're available 24 7 in all time zones at the end of the day i would say it really solves the big problem of staying properly insured while on the road i'll make sure to leave all the details down below so with that let's hop into tbilisi So came out here to the viewpoint. I've just looked up, the church has been finished in 1270 something in the way that it's standing here right now. So just been talking about Georgia as a history of like thousands of years. So this church in itself, something has been here for over a thousand years. This in particular is like 700 something. And um, I would say the view that you're getting from here is truly something and we're considering to take this car up all the way there i think that is the plan for right now but yeah no entrance no nothing you can just walk around enjoy the city from all sides and back there you're kind of seeing modern tbilisi i think that is on the list for the next couple of days as well a super nice view of all of tbilisi the balloon is going up actually we'll check on that later and i think uh, yeah actually pretty chill vibe the city looking from up here is is impressing in the sense that it almost looks like a little bit of an attraction park in the sense that you have this uh, balloon, you have the whole square down there. Everything is so neatly maintained, which uh, I find actually quite impressive. In this region, probably the most kind of like neat city I've seen yet. So basically, looks like my mom is buying something. My dad was asking. It's funny, she has been here 20, oh no, 30. 30 years ago she has been here with my dad. I actually wasn't even aware of that when I told her to come out. But yeah, inside uh, 
Orthodox Church. The tradition is to put up the um, candles in that way. You buy them for a donation. <laughs> The main square here, so this is probably the most, let's say, touristy area of Tbilisi here. This bus that says free wine, free water, free guide. But when it comes to the free water, actually, Georgia is probably one of those places where it's probably decently safe to, on the one side, drink out of the tap, but even more, usually I don't recommend. On the streets, people are pretty much, I just saw a girl coming with her water boiler funny so let's let's try so. <coughs> like from the bottle Ooh, so guys let's check the gondola how much it is how it works uh, Guys, we got a card. It's six, 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 six uh, lari for one way, one person. So it's like three dollars, two fifty. Not bad. So we'll see who is going to be our friends on this gondola. It looks like there's like six people in each. Made it inside, so just so it's gonna be one minute 42 seconds the whole drive. So, so. Arrived at the top, Narikala Fortress. I would say definitely worth it. For six lari, you get like a super nice view of the whole city up here. Wow. Kaktide. Uh, she said it's good. We are approaching the fortress on the top, so the one we saw from when we were at the church. Overall, I have to say, like, really, really nice vibe in the city. I would say maybe like half of the people are foreign, obviously, in the more touristy areas, but generally, pretty nice and peaceful walk, especially the view. I have to tell you, I just keep saying how it's probably one of the most unique. Let's say city structures that I've ever seen. And they've done like a really good job here, especially on the ground with the different like arches, the new bridge. What is going on here on the back side? Let's see. So somebody built a huge villa, some big G over there. But other than that, just green. And so uh, hiked up all the way to the fortress actually yeah just bought a one way for the gondola i think that's the way to go because kind of like when you arrive with the gondola you walk back halfway more or less to get to the fortress and uh, yeah just uh, saw it's from the fourth century so like, over a thousand five hundred years old something persians arab emirs been around here over the last couple thousands of years and um yeah, still going, going strong here, this fortress, I would say. Let's go back down and see what else we can find. And so going down, uh, basically little uh, roads in some ways reminds me a little bit of Turkey in a way. Some of the houses, but uh, yeah, you can definitely walk up one way and then come down with the gondola or how we did it today. But yeah, super nice neighborhood. I see they also have some hotels. What is this? Hostel and tours. Very nice neighborhood.
so we saw a different church in the distance mom was like hey what is that let's check that out and we walked into a very let's say i would say local authentic neighborhood not nearly as touristy people are going about their daily business well, let's see i think it's the largest church here in the city at least from the looks of it from the top pretty sure so okay guys what a place wow this must be the largest church property i've ever seen in my life so you're coming in through the columns looks really impressive i would highly guess this must be the largest church in tbilisi just generally the whole property looks really cool you see it from the mountain everywhere i've been around the city side so it was mom's idea to pass by and i'm quite happy about it so it's the holy trinity church itself On our way out from the church, I think we're gonna head to the hotel right now. We're gonna get a little wine, enjoy the view with the mama. But first, we're going in local here a little bit. So, a Georgian store selling all kinds of like different buns. So we're gonna get a chicken later. Definitely go to your restaurants on the menu as well. But here's some local sweets. Remind me a lot of the life in Turkey. Probably, let's say, somewhat connected. I mean, Turkey is very close, but. Mm -hmm. Gonna get, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get four of these. So, got back from the city center to the hotel I'm staying right now. So, this is the um, Folk Hotel, kind of like 15 minute walk from the old town. Super nice and peaceful, but the place itself is really interesting. I think I've showed it in the previous videos. It's kind of like an interesting boutique, unique design to showcase some of the local Georgian, let's say, traditional costumes. But um, yeah, what you have just seen, maybe I'll show you tomorrow morning a bit more. What you have just seen at the market is us buying the local traditional Churchella. Churchella? Not sure how we're gonna call it, but basically, it's kind of like nuts inside, walnuts, and you put, um, I'm not exactly sure how they make it, but it's some type of different fruit juices, grape juices, and it's kind of like a nut candy, so super cool, bought it from local people. And yeah, as of right now, sun is going to be setting, going to be heading out to... Uh-huh. So back in the city center, gonna yeah just explore a little bit more. We're heading to the balloon as well once the sun is gonna be setting properly. So yeah, basically in the city center, many little side roads with restaurants. Really, so many different restaurants. Few cities you see that density. But I would say for the last stop during the daytime, kept seeing this balloon all around the city, and thought, hey, why not get on it? It's like a hundred. Georgian Lari is like 30 bucks, a little bit more. And uh, yeah, should be our turn soon. Going up here. Basically you go up for like five minutes, stay on top for a bit, and then you slowly, slowly head down. You have to make sure you stand on the right side, kind of like off the platform. So it's not that shaky. It's actually quite, quite nice. Gives you a bit of a bus. It's like slightly shaky, but I think it's super safe. You see everything around us, but yeah. Amazing view, especially at this time of the day. It's pretty much 7 p.m. Sun is slowly setting and uh, yeah. Mom is also behind another camera. All about that content. Okay guys, starting the next morning, we're gonna be going somewhere very different today. So I checked 40 minute drive on the car or we can do, take the subway, but uh, the subway you have to walk there a little bit. So started a beautiful morning here at the Folk Boutique Hotel. I've showed it in the previous videos, but seriously, I absolutely love the creativity of this space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a taxi to the metro station with about a like 20 minute walk. And then we're gonna drive all across the city to I would say probably a really interesting place. Afterwards, probably hit up some cafes, hit up some other neighborhoods. But yeah, I said, it was gonna be a tour of the whole city and uh, 
that's exactly what it's gonna be. So in the morning, had some really nice breakfast here to have a lot of different options, some local Georgian stuff, but also a lot of, let's say, just like basics to get a good breakfast. Wait for the lobby, guys. The lobby here, you got some traditional Georgian costumes. Just walking through it always. It's almost like you could put like a little Iron Man costume, but the Georgian ones, I would say, are even better in some way. So let's see, the taxi should be here any moment. Okay guys, going down the Georgian Tbilisi subway. Funny story is this card is the same card as from the gondola from yesterday. Mom was adamant about giving it back to the gondola place and they said you can use it for public transport. She was like, we don't need that. Here we are, bought a new one. Quite a lot. Keep the card if you have it from the gondola. So basically it's just like one lari, which is like 30 cents. Always kind of cool to check out the local subway. This in a way looks like Kiev, probably even a bit older. You go down a real deep. heading to some type of monument on a hill overlooking a lake for that it's like either 30 40 minute taxi or go into a local neighborhood with the subway oh there's pig legs and see a little bit the real georgia as well we're going to be moving to the modern district tomorrow so let's see So we have finally arrived guys, just as a heads up, uh, with the metro you still have to take a car because it's basically a highway, we're like properly on the outskirts of Tbilisi and what we're looking at in the back is a place that is called the Chronicles of Georgia, so it's a monument they just erected like 1985 I think, it says uh, it's dedicated to the 30th anniversary of Georgian statehood, 2000th anniversary of Christianity dissemination also says it in Russian and the Georgian language which always looks pretty pretty cool so basically I'm gonna go up any moment just this walk there wandering up the stairs it's actually not too high on the pictures you're seeing looks even a bit more but basically we're seeing the whole city in the back and from what I saw on the map I think we're gonna see a lake any moment but yeah what a structure so walking in truly a massive structure. So basically it looks like it tells in some ways the history of the country over like a couple of thousand years. A lot of Christian elements in it. Yeah, when you walk in, seriously, wow. Almost reminds me probably somewhat inspired by like the Egyptian columns. Yeah, that's truly something inside of here. Just like pahadit. In a different part of town, some kind of old town, this place is called Fabrika. Let's find out what it is. Yeah. 
seems like it's some type of co-working cafe uh, on somebody's recommendation I'm sure they have coffee pretty pretty interesting Hi them what the Mm. Okay. Why not, no? So basically, I think the outside area mostly is what it is about here. Kind of like different cafes on the side of it. You sit outside, have this huge disco ball. Pretty, pretty cool. Very much of like, let's say, a bit of a alternative vibe, but certainly a unique place. So from what I understand, they transformed like an old Soviet era building. Uh, factory, I think. That was a fabrica means factory. So. Let's see, maybe coffee. Okay guys, so sitting down, having a little cappuccino, not too bad, little Georgian local beer. And while I was sitting here, I was like, okay, so it's like a post-Soviet Union um, factory that they transformed into this co-working. And then I thought behind me, I thought this is part of furniture stand, like kind of like part of decoration, an old truck, but it's a, uh, actually doing its job here so yeah pretty nice kind of like a couple of restaurants the pizza back there looks pretty good uh, personally I probably enjoy the more authentic corners but nice colorful kind of like a bit of an alternative vibe a cool place Fabrica Fabrica so as of right now really the mission a little bit is to see all the different corners of Tbilisi towards sunset walking around Antonelli street gonna pass through the Freedom Square back to the old town so yeah here's kind of like a flower market I have to tell you Tbilisi so far is one of the most let's say dense cities in terms of different uh, so different neighborhoods different vibes just a couple of minutes ago we have been literally in nature overlooking huge lakes and mountains now a bit more modern I would say kind of like a nice mix A classic post-Soviet walk underground in Kali. So that over there is the Freedom Square and I have to say this is the first time in Tbilisi where I feel like a proper like big city energy. Got like a Burberry store on the side, the people, the energy, fast-paced. I like it. a bit of a walk well seriously the old town seems to be spanning for hours and hours you can be walking around here this place is called the Gudashvili Square and uh, yeah I think Tbilisi is doing one of the best jobs in restoring a lot of old neighborhoods but not like in a super over-the-top way very tastefully coloring the buildings some are still in progress but yeah it's kind of like a nice chill little square So I hope you enjoyed today's video from Tbilisi. On the one side, I really kind of like captured a full experience in a raw way to give you an idea of how the city feels. It was really also good to have my mom fly out. Actually, after that, we went to another really cool hotel. Didn't film there too much. Maybe like the Pullman in a more modern district, the Vaco district. Other than that, as of right now, I am actually standing in a bit of a different location. We are in the port city of Batumi. I have spent here at this point a little bit over a month made it a little bit my base and there's gonna be a full video covering the city I have to tell you on the one side there's some really modern developments on the other hand it's it still has a certain let's say post-soviet charm that I personally really enjoyed and uh, Instagram is the place to stay in touch and with that you too got a world to see